How's it going guys, you're watching Rowdy XSE and today we're gonna to be doing a review on the EK Quantum Kinetic 240 mm reservoir. Okay, so these have been out for a little while now. Um, they come in three different sizes. They do the 120, 240, which is the one that we have today. Um, and they also do one in a 360. Um, there's also a choice of um, different type of combination, combination kits you can buy. So you can either buy just the body itself, which is the reservoir standalone with no pump, or you can buy a combo kit where the pump is actually installed to the back of the reservoir. Now they do the DDC, which is the one that I've bought, um, or they do the D5. Now, if you have been around for a while in water cooling, you'll know the DDC doesn't really carry that much reliability um, in comparison to the D5. And if I had the choice, I would have gone D5. Um, but with the particular way that I want to use this um, is actually with a, oh, I'm going to be water cooling an Xbox uh, Series X. So that's going to come out in a future video and this is going to be one of the components I'm using to do that. Um, purely for its form factor and uh, footprint. So um, you'll see in the video, I'm not going to give too much away um, on how we're going to do it. It's been done before, but you know, I'm going to put my own spin on it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the main reason I've gone with this particular one. If you do end up going for a DDC, I will just say this now, um, there are modifications that you can do. I think in all honesty, they might they might have come away since I was using DDC. I've used DDC once and regretted it because they get too hot. Um, but there's modifications that you can buy. So you can buy heat sinks to go on the back of the pumps, which just helps sort of expel some of the heat, stop them getting so warm. Um, but the main thing I would say is just make sure wherever you're going to be placing it, if you're going to go for DDC, just make sure you've got plenty of airflow just to try and keep that pump as cool as possible. But uh, yeah, D5 if you can. Obviously, it's more money, but the, if you go into DDC, there is things you can do to help mitigate the the failure, well, the, the common failures that those pumps unfortunately suffer. So, getting straight into it, um, the box is the box. Not much to say about that, um, and we're not really interested in the box. So, let's get straight into it. Um, I have unboxed this already, just to have a look inside, because I've learned my lesson with uh, assuming that a product is okay. If you saw my review on the um, MORO3 radiator, the one you see behind me, um, that I thought was fine, <laughs> didn't check it, did the review, thought, that, thought it was awesome, really happy with it, and it wasn't until I actually came around to editing the video of the initial unboxing and review that I realised I had a big fat ding in the, uh, in the bottom of the radiator, but here, neither here or there, this is just uh, something I've learned. So unfortunately, this is not a fresh unboxing, but it's as, it's as good as. So in true EK fashion, we've got a box within a box. Um, and here you'll find it's packed with some foam. Not quite sure what that would do in the event of uh, you know bad transit. Um, if somebody stood on that or threw it, that is, it's there. I mean, it's the thought that counts, but it isn't, but I wouldn't expect it to do a lot. Um, straight away, you get the pump in the box, just like that. So I'd imagine they're all sort of packed the same if you're buying the 120 or the 360, um, but it's nice and simple. So we'll put the reservoir to one side for the moment and we'll go for the rest of the stuff in the box, which isn't very interesting, but you need to know. So you've got one box full of your fixings and mounting mechanism. Um, so in here we have one bracket, two bracket, and we've got a bag full of fixing. So you've got your screws, nuts in there, comes with an Allen key, and it also comes with quite a handy um, fitting key. So for the G1 quarter threads, goes straight in there, like so. So it's quite handy of EK to have that as if you haven't got many tools to spare. It comes with everything that you need. Um, but we'll come back to this one a little bit just to show exactly how it mounts to the reservoir. Um, the reservoir itself, I'm going to be transparent here. I was not a fan of these when they come out. I'm not a big fan of distro plates and stuff like that anyway. Um, but I would say the more that I look at this, the more I, I actually fall in love with it. Um, I'm more of an advocate for the uh, traditional tubular resins, um, but this one, I must say, it does look really nice. And I think if you are going to, if you're building like a, you know, distro-based build, this would look awesome because it would just fit the theme perfectly. Um, the other benefit that you might find is obviously because it's got such a low form factor, um, for some cases, I think it would help 
to a degree, you know, sort of maximize airflow as it's more streamlined. Um, but uh, yeah, at the very least, it does look cool. One gripe though that I have, and I have this with a lot of, a lot of high-end products. So you're spending a lot of money on these types of products, right? Um, and obviously, you, most people are gonna buy this for the way that it looks. Now, the thing is, if you're building a super nice, clean distro build and you want this to finish it off, this just kills me. I mean, like the, for the sake of how much braiding actually costs, obviously you could do it yourself, but you know, in my opinion, you really shouldn't have to. Um, just seeing this, uh, you know, these, these wires in the back is just be, it's just not, it's just not tasteful. Um, but that being said, if you can get quite a tight looking build, you can hide these, but I can tell you now, you know, I've built a few PCs in my time and it's not always easy to hide this stuff. So yeah, it really disappoints me. So if, if, uh, if for any reason EK are listening or anybody knows EK, please just pass that message on. Like just, it's a bit of braiding. Do you know what I mean? It's not a lot of money, but that's my only gripe with this particular combo. Um, but the reservoir is as you see. So you've got various different ports. We've got one at the top. Uh, we've got three along the bottom and then a further two right at the very bottom. So overall quality, I've got to say like in hand, very sturdy. There is, um, it just feels like one big chunk of acrylic, um, but it's very thick and very well machined as you'd expect from EK. Um, and like we said, the pump pretty much just sits on the back of the res like so. So if you're gonna buy the combo kit, the D5 is the same. Um, it just literally bolts onto the back here. So if you're gonna go for a combo, just make sure that you do have the clearance within your case, because obviously the D5 I imagine would come out quite a bit further. Um, DDC is nice, but like I said, if you can avoid it, try. Um, but yeah, um, this is RGB as well. So the RGB strip um, runs at the side of the, the, the sort of black fascia that you've got on the side here. Um, it's three, three pin RGB, so that's five volt. Um, that's compatible with most um, sort of motherboards and cases these days. And it is uh, EKD RGB. So yeah, you can use this on pretty much most builds, um, you know, that you, can, that you can think of. There's not a lot of controllers that won't work with this. Um, the pump, so on the DDC in particular, it is PWM. Um, so it's powered with a two pin Molex, which is the yellow and black cable. And then for the uh, PWM support, that is just a two pin PWM goes into a normal header. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the reservoir itself. There's not a lot to say about these. I just thought I'd share it because it looks cool. Um, mounting wise, uh, I would say, so it's like a bit of a, almost like a U bracket. That would go, looking on the back here. So yeah, there's various fixings. So we've got two fixings on the back. It looks like we've got one here and then two more here. I don't know why you'd have two there, because that doesn't fit. I don't know what these are for. Maybe they're for a different accessory, but it looks like this is just how it mount very simply. So you'd uh, basically mount one of the fixing screws through one of these two holes. Well, yeah, you need to do it on both. Um, and then that would just bolt directly into the reservoir. Um, I would say be careful not to over tighten these because obviously it's acrylic, very easy to crack. Um, but uh, yeah, something like that. That's how I'd imagine it goes. Um, so nice, handy, sleek, and uh, nice low form factor. So like I said, touched on the beginning of the video, this is gonna be something that I'm using for um, an Xbox Series X. Now I am complete PC, I don't really use consoles anymore, but P uh, consoles for me is where it all started. So obviously I think like a lot of people, you know, you start on consoles, you end up with your first PC and then, you know, like everything, you want more out of the PC. So you start pushing the PC and then water calling, you know, if, you've, if you're already in that avenue, you'll know how easy it is to get carried away. But this is a bit of a homage to Xboxes. That was what I used to use back way when. Um, and yeah, I always thought it'd be really cool to, to water call one. I used to mod them back in the day, but nothing, you know, with water cooling or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I just thought it'd be really cool to do a build on something like that. I'm gonna do something quite special. So if you wanna see that, obviously uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Um, but yeah, if you've got any more questions regarding this reservoir, if you're looking at one yourself um, and you've got sort of any concerns or questions, um, let me know in the messages down below. I'll be happy to get back to you and help with you any way that I can. Um, and yeah, if you like the video, please do uh, like and subscribe because that really helps me out. Um, and uh, yeah, enables me to continue making these videos. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again in the next one. Cheers, bye.